everyone. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great summer. There has definitely been a lot of fun releases. It's an exciting time right now and more, more and more doll brands are bringing out more things. So if you don't know me, my name is Shauna. I'm an adult doll collector and I make videos for other adults. Today I am going to be looking at the biggest thing I got right now is this mini Ken's Mojo Dojo Casa House. It's a Mattel exclusive that arrived over the weekend and I just haven't had a chance to open it. So I'm gonna be looking at this and then I thought since I'm opening up that, I'm gonna finally look at my Mojo Dojo Casa House Ken, or at least that's what I call him. But the Ken in the fur coat, I ordered him um, back when he was released last year and he was late to be delivered from Mattel and I just haven't had a chance to open him. So I thought I'm finally gonna take him out of the box and I have to say is normally when I take my dolls out of the box, I do throw away their packaging because I just can't store things and I'm not a storage unit in my house. But this box is so cool. I think I will go ahead and keep it. You know, every once in a while there's a box that I just love. And I do really like this box because it says Ken and the scratched out Barbie look for the Ken is totally cool. And then, of course, I have this I bought probably at the beginning of the year or the end of last year. It's the one of the cars, the Corvettes, from the Barbie movie. I picked up a few of these when I saw them at Target, and it's really, really cool. So I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, let's take a look. So this house is very similar. You know, you remember the story in the Barbie movie. Ken takes over Barbie's dream house and makes it his own and calls it the Mojo Dojo Casa House. So um, in the back, it looks like this, which is really super, super cool. And the details, you know, there's a lot of cool details. I haven't even looked at it really closely. Um, my poor, poor Kicks Pixie did want to be in the video, but I wasn't ready to make it at the time when I was getting things set up and she was here. But then it was dinner time and we like to give, like I think I've mentioned, my cats do not get along. So I have to separate them like which one's in one room for a while and then the other ones has roam of the house. And right now it's time for her to be upstairs, which they have the, you might have another cat house in the bedroom and stuff. And then that, anyway, it's, it is a hassle and I'm hoping that they eventually get along, but I don't feel like any cat fights. So she's not here for this video. Maybe at the end she'll, will, I'll be able to let her out or, you know, but she'll be sleeping. She does so much sleeping lately. Anyway, so here it is. Let's take a better look and let's look at him also. And of course this car, I think I'll do the car first because it's so easy just to pop it out. Um, and the car goes very well in the little house, the dream house, the mini dream house, the Mattel exclusive. I'll show you closer. Um, I already have, if you haven't seen, I have a video also for Barbie's mini dream house that came, I think, what was it, a week or two before this one. So be sure to check that out. I'll leave the link in the description. So life happens and I rarely ever get to finish the video the same day I start making it. And I looked over, I was sitting at my computer and here is Pixie, I, she's reminding me, let's finish this video. So I'm gonna take Ken out of his box and take the mini Mojo Dojo Casa House out of the box and give you a better look at both. And since this is a Ken video, I have to include a little footage of my dog, Ken. He is five years old. We adopted him at the end of December last year, along with his perfect friend, Barbie. Uh, we brought the two of them home, Barbie and Ken, and he is just the sweetest dog. Hi, Ken. Everybody in our family loves him. Of course, we love Barbie, too. Ken has... So I've unpackaged everything, and here is Pixie. She was napping, but I know she really wanted to be in the video, so I went and grabbed her. Um, and she's not complaining. She sat down, like, right in her spot. She wants to be by the house, and she's doing a big yawn. So let's take some more deep, uh, you know, closer look at this. Um, I haven't unattached the little, I think the plastics are still on everything except for Ken because of Pixie and my other cat. I'm afraid that they will kick things around. I need a better place to keep this out permanently. Um, and I'm 
so right now things are still tied down except for Ken and he can move to different places in the house. Like I said, Pixie did want to be here for this. But look how cute he is. And my cardboard piece, the box is slightly bent. That's how it arrived to me. So I'm a little disappointed it arrived that way, but there was nothing I could do. So there she is again, stretching after her nap. And she's starting to notice things a little bit. We have the little Corvette out in front of the dream house or the Mojo Dojo Casa house. There is the furniture for like poolside. It's really cute. Black couch and a black um, lounge chair or, you know, probably a recliner. Ken floaties in the pool. You got your big screen TV with the horses. The little welcome mat says, um, can't even read it. so the little doormat says horse, sweet horse. We have the swing doors that it say Kendom Salon or Saloon. Yes, Ugh. Salon, Saloon. Anyway, um, on mine, you can see it's kind of crooked. And notice the doors do not line up properly. I'm afraid to mess with it because the doors on the other one that I have, Barbie's Dream House, did pop off one time. And um, I just don't want to mess with it. There is the little pull-up bar that he uses in the movie when he's talking to Barbie. There is a baseball mitt chair right there. Going upstairs again, you got the big screen, a cowboy hat, some boots. Oh, and I think down there I forgot to notice or mention, if you open the doors, you can see the couch. And uh, I guess that's it. But upstairs, you got some boots. Uh, is that just boxes? What is that? I think it's just a stack of boxes. A telescope on the third floor. Uh, horses galloping on the bed comforter. His guitar. And there is Ken. He looks really, really good. And you can even see the waistband says Ken with it where his underwear is peeking out of the top. And there is a satellite dish. And the background, I'm going to take it out so you can see it a little better. So, whoops. Here's what the background looks like. The little backdrop. Oh, I didn't even notice the palm tree that is broken, like in the movie. The f what is that, a foosball thing? And there are the horses. Kendom. And one of the signs. And sorry for all the shaking, but here on the very, this floor, you can move this. That was the best day ever outfit. Here is his cowboy outfit. Change it back again to the best day ever outfit. Let me show you what it looks like from the back. If I turn it around, you can get a better look. Because there it says Ken in the corner. I couldn't see that from the other side. Then on this side, you can see that there is also a surfboard and he's got glasses and I believe that's suntan lotion, but maybe it's a water bottle. Really cute. And there is the mini Ken from the back. And here is Ken, he looks amazing. I was so excited taking him out of the box. It was more fun than I thought it would be. He's got that great medallion with the horse. My husband was this Ken for Halloween. He had a lot of fun with the outfit. And he did wear it to see the Barbie movie when it was at IMAX. There's a little butt pack. He's got the fingerless gloves. The pants with like the electricity going down the side. And he came with this doll stand. I really care. I like these boots, like the wrestling boots opened up. Or are they boxing boots? I can't tell the difference. The fringe vest. He looks amazing. And here is his coat off of him. It was just on his shoulders. They didn't have his arms through it. But look at the inside, the detail with the horse or horses. It looks so good. And there is a certificate of authenticity. I was hoping it would have, you know, Ken 
in that font, but instead it says, this certifies that your Ken doll was created through the coll collaborative efforts of designers and artists at Mattel. He looks really good. I just put the coat over his shoulders. I didn't want to have to put the arms through. So this is what he looks like. Let me know, did you get one of these? Did you get the doll, any of the Ken dolls? Did you get the mini Mojo Dojo Casa House? And the other question, do you have a cat? Or do you have a dog like my dog, Ken? Any dog. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it. And I'm so glad that Pixie was able to join us. Thanks for watching. Come back soon. Check out my Instagram accounts, Sofa Dolls, Pink Cheek, Barbie. And uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.